Today I have a list of three things I'd like to talk about in this video on my YouTube project spread in the back book. Uh, and it's two of the th those things are about morning journaling and how, you know, consequences of that, good consequences, things that happened, ideas I got because of that. And then I'm also going to show you, uh, uh, well, in Swedish there's an expression, new old, it's one word with a hyphen, new old. So there's a new old embellishment that I'm giving a try again. But first of all, my morning journaling. I, uh, well, as soon as I sat down with my planner, I started thinking about drawing because I haven't drawn for a week or something and I am trying to get better at drawing so I thought you know I need to journal about this. So the first thing I did was to grab a tab from my stash in the someday maybe insert where I have all my tabs and I turned to a new page in my back book and put the tab there and wrote draw faces because that's what I'm trying to get better at. That's what I attended a course for in October and yeah. So um, I have this <laughs> uh, commission from a family member who wants me to draw everyone in her family. So that's something I have to do because you know I promised I'd do it. So that's one goal. Another goal that I wrote down was to make a two minute sketch a day. Uh, because you can always put in two minutes, like that's not even hard. So I want to do that and the long-term goal I also put here, which is to draw in a way that is more relaxed because my faces tend to be like uptight, they look uptight and sort of uh, like like when you <laughs> you're waiting for someone to take a photo and your grin starts to feel really like stale my faces sometimes come out like that and i don't want it i i don't want that so i have to work on it i also have to work on making my faces more symmetrical which is a bad word because nobody's face is symmetrical but there is a tendency for me to make one side of the face like, it, it's too asymmetrical. It, it's like that part of the face is shorter <laughs> than the other one, or it really, or the, the eyes are not aligned, they look really wonky. So that's also something I wanna work on. I also wanna work on my pictures saying something, like, th like there should be a, an atmosphere or a message or just something, they should say something. Also, a very, very long-term goal is to... I, I want my faces to resemble the reference, the real person, which is, I mean, I've written ultimate goal, and I I wrote an idea here in a little bubble uh, that I want this to happen more and more often. Like, perhaps the first goal could be that every... like, every 20 faces out of every 20 faces one should resemble the original and then perhaps out of every 15 faces like more and more often um because that's the only way to sort of measure that goal and whether i reach it so i began by listing these things that are important to me on the project spread in the back book for drawing. Then I turned to my front book where I do my project journaling nowadays. And I wrote this, this is probably not visible, that doesn't matter, but, but I wrote draw faces and I wrote about the goal, how to get there, things I've got going for me and obstacles. Um, yes, so, I mean, now, oh, and then I think I wrote, let's see, when I wrote about, when I project journal, what happened was that I realized, oh, I want somewhere in my planner to draw these faces. I mean, I have a special book where um, I only draw, but I also want to draw in, in 
my planner. So I wrote, leave every other page empty in the project journaling section um, so that I can draw faces. So I've prepped, these pages are like, they're already uh, made for project journaling. But after that, I will leave some pages blank um, so that I can draw some faces here as well, because uh, it will be a, a document of how I drew at this time. So I want some of my faces to be in here, even though most of them will end up in the drawing, um, the sketch sketchbook. Um, and I also put, oh, I should say, the, this is a next action to leave every other page empty. So I put it on the planner context for my next action. Um, and I also put on find, move, gather, <laughs> that's one context, to put some Mojo magazines in my, um, like my, I have this basket. Here it is, with all my stuff. Like, uh, I have my sketch book here <laughs> and my world building book and some drawing, uh, like coal and pencils and stuff. Well, all sorts of stuff that I lug around the house so that I always have my planning, um, my world building and my drawing stuff with me. And I get inspired by Mojo photos. Um, so, because they're often black and white and uh, like artistic and yeah. So I, I'm gonna put some of those magazines in that basket for inspiration. Just to, you know, f seeing faces that are beautifully rendered can inspire you. Well, uh, anything else? No, nothing else. So that was the first thing I morning journaled about. And now I've forgotten the second one. So I have to go to my YouTube tab again. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> I'd forgotten. Um, I also journaled in my journaling section, my more random, oops, <laughs> this was random, uh, my random personal journaling that is now in its own insert. So I project journaled here, just to recap in the front book, and then I journaled in this one about, let's see, where is it? Well, um, about my world building and about writing snippets for my actual book that I'm world building for. So while I was journaling about that, I realized, well, I, uh, because um, since I have made my new setup, I, all the project pages in the project section in the back book are current and my idea was to, you know, to uh, paint over these pages. When the projects are done and no longer current, I paint over the pages and write my world building ideas. But I still want to be able to use the back book um, for, well, that fantasy book before <laughs> these projects are no longer current. So, I mean, it's like a problem right now that all of the project pages are current, so I can't use them for my world building. But I have pages. I mean, if I count my projects, this one is trying to escape. Um, I've counted out the pages for my, my work projects. So they're all, they all have a spread. And I've started a section with home project spreads. And if I look at my someday maybe insert, I can see how many tabs are in it, which means I can count how many project areas for home I have in my life. So I counted out and it's 
around 25. So I counted out a little more than 25 pages um, in the back book so that I have a spread for each and every area of my home life as well. And there are still pages. So my idea was to uh, write snippets for my fantasy book on these final pages. So if I get random ideas that I want to, like world building ideas um, that need to be transferred to the old back book, this one, that I used to have in the back of my setup, where I've started my world building. I've shown this before. Uh, so I use this one for <laughs> ideas and this one for writing snippets. So if I'm out and about and I feel like writing actual scenes, I can do that here at, at the, like the final section of the back book. And I'm thinking if I use gel pens for that, I can, um, well, I can paint the pages afterwards with watercolour. Uh, no, wait, that wasn't the idea. <laughs> the idea was to actually um, tea dye them because that will be inviting um, for writing about, you know, old times. <laughs> I want them, I want these pages to feel ancient. So that was the idea, yes, to tea dye these final pages and use them for writing snippets. Um, so the original idea, just to recap, was to, this was my project book and I wanted to um, paint over used up pages, project pages and write world building ideas. And I'm still doing that, it's just that it's separate. And it, <laughs> I mean, that kind of defeats the purpose because I wanted everything to be in my setup. But at the same time, I have a lot of ideas to put into this book and I think I will fill it up quite quickly. And I can't, I mean, and I will quickly fill up another one like this or like this um, actual back book, which will then be glued onto this one. And I can't lug around my entire series Bible for eternity. <laughs> so I I have to like accept that some of my world building will not come with me everywhere I go. Um, but some of it will. Um, my snippets, my current snippets in the back and also if I get random ideas I will put, actually I will put a tab now just to be uh, really clear. So during the day when I suddenly realize, oh, that plant, that sun crown plant, maybe it grows in fields outside Sorella and uh, someone comes and burns it down. I write it here on a, a writing project spread with a writing tab. I, I'm not sure if that was succinct <laughs> succinct it wasn't but clear well all right final thing that i wanted to talk about was the embellishment you've already seen it because i leafed through the front book i had in um you might recognize this if you've been watching me for a while in august and september i tried out this um, well, uh, an insert for oops, next actions with ladies, like fashion images, um, like this. And I, I was inspired to do that by Monique Smith, who I follow and am very inspired by. So I wanted to prep some pages in the front book again with these ladies. So I've left a few pages blank between them. 
but um, so these these pro um, these pages in the front book are still for project journaling. I haven't changed that, but some of the pages will be embellished like this uh, because I just I I liked it, but it didn't work with the next actions because they distract me from the writing. But journaling, it doesn't matter if um, if there are embellishments on journaling pages because I'm, I don't have to look at a journaling page and quickly see information. It's more about, you know, unloading information from my brain. So it works much better as inspiration and just um, to give general nice vibe as I'm journaling. Uh, and it reminds me of Monique Smith and that, that in itself is inspiring, so uh, yeah, that, that's a small change. Um, and that's it.